Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, we're going to take a look at my little laptop computer here in the garage. It's a little maintenance computer and it's been running kind of sluggish and I did a few things to speed it up and I'll go through how some of the things that I did to speed it up. It's really pretty cool. Uh, went on YouTube, checked online for some things I could do to, you know, get it optimized and updated with the drivers and patches and all that cool stuff. I'm going to share that with you uh, shortly. But uh, let's take a look at the power. It is gorgeous blue skies out there. Oh my goodness. Making monster power here on, was it January 3rd? So let's take a look at the uh, midnight solar solar charge controllers. I'll show you how much power I make. I'm going to get a full charge today. Oh, and this week I'm going to be looking at four more Trojan batteries too. So expect some really cool videos on that. So let's, let's take a look over here. I'll be lonely with Look at that one. That's on the Renogy Array, 2,400 watts. Woohoo! Look at that battery voltage coming up. And down here, let's see if I can just zoom in on that dog there. Instead of taking off the tripod. Sexy. That's on the uh, Sun Power Array. There's three panels out there for 1,300 watts in panels, and I'm making, I'm not even at full sun yet. Woohoo! These, of course, are in follow me mode. But today's video is over here on this little dog. Okay. This is a Toshiba satellite I got uh, last spring, and it's a touch screen. So all you have to do is just touch wherever you want to go here Facebook go to Outback Power and you'd be surprised this may look slow but this is actually moving pretty quick go to sign in there All right <laughs> cool stuff cool stuff but anyway uh, this doesn't come with a cat5 cable uh, Ethernet port so I had to get one of these uh, cable matters. It's a, it's a LAN gigabyte adapter into USB 3. These are USB 3 ports on here and works beautifully. And I got that plugged in up top to my wireless router, <clears throat> which as you all may know, is a TP-Link AC1900 gigaband router. And it works beautifully. Okay, this can be kind of a hard video to shoot, so bear with me. Don't click off. Please don't click off. Get this thing adjusted. I'm getting better with my videos, trust me. Okay, let's go back here. Like that. We'll get in here a little bit better here. Okay, this is cool stuff, so watch this. This is how I sped up my little Toshiba with a Pentium Atom processor. So you go over here to my computer. If you don't have that set up in there, just set that up. Go to Properties. And under Device Manager, this is what I did. <clears throat> is I went through every single one of these devices here and I clicked on it and then I right clicked and I said update driver software and then search automatically for device software see that and it searches online for your device software okay I did that for all of these there's probably about 50 or 60 drivers in here and it took me about five of them actually it was about eight of them updated and then about five more of them needed to restart the computer so this takes about a half an hour or so depending on your internet speed to update this properly and it went beautifully went beautifully okay now here's here's something I really want to show you guys check this noise out I found this online too on your network adapters since I'm running a uh, Ethernet adapter now go ahead and right click on that Go to Properties. You see this little thing right here? It says Power Management. 
this is a notoriously bad thing for Windows. You want to uncheck, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Unclick that. Unclick that. Okay? It's those little power saving things for like laptops and crap. You don't need that on. Okay? That is a big deal. And if you're running wireless on your NIC card, check this out. You can, of course, update driver software, but go to properties, go to power management up here. It's the same thing. I got that unclipped. That'll make things clip along real good. Okay? And like I said before, go through all this stuff here and update all your drivers. There was a lot of security patches and stuff that goes through, and the computer doesn't automatically update them. Now, let's go to advanced system settings <clears throat> down here. Go up to settings here. I leave mine on let Windows choose what's best for my computer right there. That seems to work pretty good. What you want to do is go up to advanced. And down here where it says virtual memory, a paging, this is a, your paging memory, which acts like RAM. And what you want to do is like this computer has four gig of memory, which isn't a whole heck of a lot for Windows 10 and doing stuff. So you want to kind of help it out a little bit. And you can automatically manage your paging file size for all the drives up here. And I only have one hard drive. Actually, I got an SSD on there. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so I don't know if paging really makes a difference. But what I did is I increased this. It recommends 1.3 gig of paging file size for all the drives. I increased this to a 5,000. You can go as high as 87 on the C drive. And it seems to work real good. Seems to work real good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now look how fast this thing's just booking along here. And this thing was really sluggish. Let's go back to the internet. Better shape up. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I mean, you're not going to get super breakneck gaming speed out of a. $200 Toshiba all-in-one combo convertible, you know, thing that I got going on here, for God's sakes. But I tell you, you know, it's always, you'd be surprised what little things you can do to, to boost the power. And I'm running uh, Kaspersky Total Security. Well, it looks like I gotta check something. So I use Kaspersky Total Security. Let's check this warning here. It wants to resolve something here. Okay, that was just a licensing thing there, but everything else is good to go. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. Let's check our power. Let's check our power. Oh yeah, I'm an absorb. Not even 12. That rocks. That rocks. Cool. I just wanted to show you that little trick. This is what I did. I also did all those uh, device manager patches and driver updates on my big computer uh, in the living room. It works beautifully. And I got one more computer to go on my old computer I have in the in the study. Uh, and I'll get to that later. I don't use that computer very much anyway. But just a little trick of the trade. Um, you know, when I was in the Air Force, I worked in comm squadrons. And there's a lot of dudes that were freaking brilliant on the computers. And I could always go and ask them questions. And I didn't know what the heck they were talking about half the time. But, man, I tell you, I, I guess I listened enough. You know, God gave you two ears and one mouth. You know, I listened twice as much as I was talking. And I picked up enough stuff to, to you know, to be comfortable doing the stuff. And, you know, even installing a solid-state drive or some more RAM sticks or stuff like that. You know, I don't have a problem with that. But... Uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with uh, this little guy going here and just, just updating the drivers and doing those little tricks there really made a difference. And trust me, I'm no computer expert. You know, there's a lot of dudes out there that know a lot more stuff than I do, but uh, works for me. So, all right, stay tuned to my channel. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna call Continental Battery here in Oklahoma City. We're gonna take a look at, uh, you know, some prices for four more Trojan uh, L16 EACs for the battery bank down here and hopefully I can get get a good price um, 
and see what he can do for me. You know, we'll see. We'll. See. I, I'm not sure if I'll get him tomorrow or or whatever, but we'll figure something out. But uh, it'll be really cool. To get some more battery power going here. Woohoo! Be cranking, cranking. Goal is to get. You know, I'm partial off grid here. I'm not a full off gridder. You know, there's a lot of people uh, on YouTube that do the off grid. You know, they're got you know got great systems and and you know to each is their own I guess uh, but mine is partial off grid as an emergency backup and then it just evolved into a uh, uh, powering my home circuits and now I'm just kind of leaning forward and you know collecting more sun power and storing it and using it um, you know during the non sunlight hours you know reduces the electric bill and saves me money you know it was, what was it 50 bucks I, I come home from Michigan and my bill was 50 bucks you know, compared to last year, it was over like it was like 121. I mean, come on, that's real money, real money. This stuff works. So, all right, you guys take care. I'm gonna upload this video to, to the uh, to my channel and and take care. And we'll see you next time. Later.